so on this channel we are going to learn about s pen plus how to use s pen plus we will start from basics then we will do some more complicated problems so let's start the s pen plus so the first thing which we have to do is you have to create a file so let's create a file so these are the predefined templates if you are using solids or electrolytes or any other chemical process then you can choose any one of these but in our case we are using a blank, blank simulation let's create the file so this is the first look of S Pen Plus where we have to define the properties of the components or species which we are using so the first thing is we have to look at these red circles if there is any red circle in the in this uh, simulation or properties tab then it means it requires some input so in this case if you can see that it requires a component input so we we take a water as your input component then see then in the next if we say benzene so it will take the two it will take the components then your red circle turns to blue circle okay so it means we have given the proper input but if these input are correct or not that is a different story which will be we will see later so the next thing is if you don't know how to what to do next then you can just click the next button then S Pen Plus will automatically take you to the next step so this is where we have to define the different uh, define the method for for our process the method is uh, like Peng Robinson method and yeah, RTL method so these are thermodynamic methods so which you use to calculate your entropy and enthalpy at different points of your process okay so if you don't know which method you should use then you can take the help of method assistant of this S Pen Plus so you can see you can define your process as a uh, by a component or your process type so whichever you want to take suppose we take the component if you can come process contain hydrocarbons and you can see does the mixture contain petroleum assay we can say no then it will give you some suggestion like you can use pangromison srk high seas srk okay now if we can see if you using some chemical type component so then it will ask you if your pressure is high so if you say yes then it will give you some other suggestions that you can use okay so this is how you can use your method assistant in the s pen plus for your process so in our case we can use ideal okay so then you can see that your red circle uh, turns to blue circle it means you have given the input so now you don't know anything so then you can just click next then it will automatically take you to the next step so the next step is you want to run your property analysis so if you see on the left bottom side results is available table is generated so in this case your results are available no error or no warning is generated so everything is fine you can good to go to the next uh, step that is your simulation step okay but before going to simulation step we can see some other things also so in the components you can review your component properties so you have used in water and benzene you can see there are different parameters so if you see this parameter is standard free gives uh, energy of formation of water at 25 degrees celsius so these things are predefined so these parameters are predefined so these parameters are taken from nist dkema and dippr which are inbuilt in the s pen plus okay in and if you want to create a new uh, new compound then you can also draw the structure okay and then give the parameters if you know 
the parameter values okay so this is how you can review your components so the next thing are if if you can see these so okay we will see these things later when we encounter so now this is enough for the first lecture so the next is go to the simulation so you can see uh, you have to draw the simulation so the first thing is you have to give the input streams so the input stream is water here and the next is benzene okay so in our case we want to mix these two streams suppose so then this is our mixer module which we can use and then there is a output stream so we can say product okay product so we have to connect these two streams these two streams to the mixture okay so now your flow sheet is complete so then you can click to next so it is saying you have to give the input in the benzene stream so suppose your benzene is coming at 25 degree or uh, 25 degree celsius and at one bar pressure then what is the flow so the flow can be on the basis of mass mole or volume standard volume so suppose we are giving it at one kilomole per hour so in in the composition window we can we can give the mass fraction mole fraction or concentration so suppose the mole fraction is for benzene is one only benzene stream contains only benzene so mole fraction will be one so you can also see that you can give the vapor fraction also or temperature or pressure the three things we can give so we will see these things later now click next so we have to give the input for the water stream so suppose it is coming at 50 degree celsius and one bar pressure and so the flow rate is 2 so in composition we can say mole fraction is so water is 0 0.9 and your benzene is 0 0.1 in this stream so this stream contains benzene as well as water okay so then we can click next so it is saying required input is complete so it means we don't require anything for your mixer module but if you want to change the property method then you can change on this panel also but we are not going to change it and then you can use different uh, free water property methods so, like in this case it is already taken steam ta you can take steam nbs and bs2 there are few ideal okay so if your if your problem statement defines to use other then you can use here then click next so it is saying you can run the simulation required input is complete so result available no errors and no warnings on the left bottom left side you can see that results are available and in the control panels you can see no warnings are issued no errors are issued okay so now we can analyze the results also so the results to analyze the results you can go to the stream um, on the block mixer block and right click and then stream results so you can see that your input uh, streams are coming at 25 and 50 degree celsius but your output is 38.53 degree celsius and your mole flows are consistent okay so there is mass balance there is energy balance and you have a pressure of one more uh, one bar one bar and your outlet is also one bar so the aspen aspen plus does is mass balance energy balance okay overall mass balance energy balance 
and then component mass balance and energy balance when it does not do the it does not do the uh, momentum balance so you can also see that if you change the pressure if you change the pressure okay of the water stream to 2 bar okay 2 bar so still the your still your result will be you can see your result will be your product stream will be at one bar even though you have you have changed the pressure of the water stream to two your product stream is one because s plus does not take the account of momentum balance the other thing we can see uh, so what it does what it does that um, that whatever the lowest pressure it encounter it automatically takes as that pressure as the resultant pressure okay so now if you change the water to 5 5 atmosphere uh, 5 bar and your benzene stream pressure to 2 bar then you can see that in result streams your outlet pressure is 2 bar because the lowest pressure is 2 in the ben of the benzene stream okay so so it will automatically take the lowest pressure as the resultant pressure so the next thing we can do the one more important thing we i can tell you is that whenever you change anything the first thing you should do is to reinitialize the solver because it contains some values in the iteration from the previous uh, run so it's better to to flash off all those uh, values so that's why we have to reset every time we change any values and then we can run the process okay now you can see the results okay so this time we your lowest value is 3 at a bar so then your product is at 3 bar so this is how the s pen plus works okay mm. so this is it for the today's lecture in the next lecture we will do some more uh, we will learn more about s pen plus okay we will see the more modules so different modules are there so see you you can use flash so you have your heat exchangers distillation column reactors and your pressure changers like compressor pump or valves then you have manipulators or uh, then you have solids solid separator and batch okay we will see these things in different uh, in the upcoming lectures so thank you very much hope you like my lecture take care